Introducing new macro bellows for Canon EOS R, Nikon Z, and Fujifilm X-mount cameras. Hey everyone, Sean here with photodeox.com and today we're announcing three new entries in our macro bellows line, Canon EOS R, Nikon Z, and Fujifilm X-mount. Now what these macro bellows do is they put extra space between your lens and camera to turn any lens into a macro focus lens. And the way they do that is pretty simple. You mount your camera on one end, your lens on the other, and then you've got this macro bellows system that you can open and close. Keep it here for minimum macro focus and then turn this wheel to extend the bellows for maximum macro focus. Let me show you how to assemble it. First off, you're gonna take the macro bellows and you're going to mount a Canon RF lens on the front, or in this case, a Nikon F mount lens adapted to the R mount with our Nikon G to EOS R adapter. Line up the red dots and lock the lens to the macro bellows. Then you're just going to line up the red dot on the macro bellows with your mounting dot on your mirrorless camera. And there we go, we've got the macro bellows and lens mounted to our camera. And again, the way we adjust the macro bellows is we loosen the locking pin, and then we turn this wheel uh, this way to make the macro bellows shorter, and this way to make them longer. And the longer you make the macro bellows, the more cropped in you're gonna be, and the closer you're gonna focus. So for most stuff, you're only gonna need to have it set about here for most subjects, but if you're doing something that you need to get really, really close up on, get really close detail, you can extend it farther out. And then when you've got it set how you want, just turn the locking pin to lock it in place. And then under here, we've got a quarter 20 mounting screw. So you can mount the setup on a tripod or you can always hand hold it as well. Now, one quick note, these macro bellows are fully manual. There's no electronic communication. So if you're gonna put it between your mirrorless camera and mirrorless lens, you wanna make sure that mirrorless lens can at least focus manually. Now, aperture control would be ideal as well, but it's not essential, but you definitely need manual focus. There are plenty of third-party lenses out there for Canon EOS R, Nikon Z, and Fujifilm X that have full manual focus control. So we'd recommend using those with this macro bellows. Or if you're already adapting a lens, like for instance, I've got this Nikon F mount lens adapted uh, to the RF mount with our Nikon G to Canon EOS R adapter. You just put the macro bellows between the adapter and camera and then the adapted lens uh, gets macro focus. Okay, we've got it assembled. Now here are some quick tips and tricks for using a Photodeox macro bellows system. We're gonna use my wedding ring for this demo. As you can see with this first setup, we've got the macro bellows closed all the way to its shortest setting, and we've got the ring set up in front of it, and we can focus to about this distance, get a nice macro shot of the entire ring. Next, we're going to extend the macro bellows about halfway out. And as you can see, we're cropping in on the ring. Uh, but we do have to move the ring a little bit farther away from the lens. If we leave it where it is, uh, it won't be able to focus. We gotta move it out a little bit farther, but this final image is cropped in more. So as you can see, as we extend the bellows out, we're zooming in on the subject, but we're able to focus closer up. And finally, we extend the macro bellows all the way out, and we've got to move the ring a little bit farther away, but now we're very, very cropped in on it. We're seeing very minute detail on the ring. I took this Canon EOS R and this Nikon 50 millimeter lens on the macro bellows out for a photo shoot. And here are some of the macro photos I captured. I got some beautiful close up detail macro shots of flowers, as well as some pretty amazing insects. I love these photos of this fly. It's amazing how it blends in with the wood it's hanging out on. Love damsel flies. They're much smaller than dragonflies, but they're a little easier to photograph. They don't seem to be as bothered when you get your lens up close to them. I captured this little spider hiding in a hole in a leaf. And you'll see this little guy, this little red mite. It's amazing how small this guy was. This is my favorite photo I captured. It's this little spider on a leaf and it was on its web so it didn't go away so I could set up the camera and tripod and macro bellows right next to it and just do minute adjustments to get it in focus. Then finally on my way back, this butterfly just landed right in front of me on the trail. And then in this shot, letting most of it go out of focus, just focusing on the colors on the rear of the wings, that back texture. 
Okay, that was a quick look at our new macro bellows for Canon EOS R, Nikon Z, and Fujifilm X mount. If you want to learn more about these macro bellows and possibly get one for yourself today, click the link in the description below. And if you have any questions about anything I talked about in today's video, comment below. I'd love to help you out. Also, click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos just like this one. I'm Sean with photodeox.com, and happy macro photography.